Alright, in this video I'm going to show you the vault security offices along with a few of the rooms that are attached to it and also give you a quick walkthrough of the administrator's office. The first part is the waiting room. So we have a couple of windows here right by the vault security desk where you can walk up and start filling out your information and let us know the purpose of your visit if you have a complaint or a request or whatever it might be. And then you just hang out here until one of the security officers call you back, in theory. Attached to the waiting room is the observation area. So this is where we monitor every security camera to keep an eye on every part of the vault. This is how we always know what's going on, which helps us keep you guys perfectly safe. And also, we have a spot over here where we monitor all of the computer activity in the vault in case someone is trying to hack our system or access something that they shouldn't. See, we go the extra mile to keep you guys safe. And this window overlooks the meme room, but I haven't built that up on this side of the vault yet, so just bear with me. But basically, whenever someone is breaking the rules, we hit this button, which sounds the alarm, and our chief of security, Donald Strong, will come crashing down to take care of things. For the actual security office, I asked all of my moderators of the Discord server to decorate their desk and send me screenshots so I can recreate them in the game, and that's exactly what I did. So, all the decorations on the desk and the way that they're set up were done by them with a few minor changes. So this is Angelus Dulce's desk, and she's gonna be so mad at me because it's not pink. I promise the chair will be pink, at least, and uh, I just haven't done that yet, so it will be. I promise, don't be mad. And this is one of our newer moderators, A-E-I-X-U, I think that's still the way that she wants us to pronounce her name. Uh, this is her desk, which I decorated for her. So she asked me to design a college student's desk that's into art and architecture. So that's why I chose this picture and that statue along with a bunch of books and two types of caffeine. Because I imagine you have to read a bunch of books and caffeine helps you stay awake. I, I don't know what you kids are doing these days, probably, you know, iPads and espresso shots or some shit. But this is Proton's desk, which I didn't have to change at all, I just turned the picture and bobblehead around. And across from him is another new moderator, Black Mage. So you see what I did? Proton and Angelus are our senior moderators, so I put their desk right next to the new guys, so they can show them the ropes and get them all trained up. Over here is Chaos's desk, which was a lot fancier, but I toned it down a little bit so it would fit in with the rest of the room. Across from him is a vacant desk since Mim just got promoted, and we have another vacant desk back here just in case, you know, as the server grows, we will need more people to help us out, so I want to make sure that we have enough space. My favorite part of this room is this hatch door right here. So you see how we have emergency lights in the front and the back. When someone breaks the rules, the alarm goes off, we grab our gear, jump down, and assess the situation. See, very quick and easy access. In the back part of the security office, we have this board that lists our most recent security threats. And along with that, we have a couple of filing cabinets that contain all of our paperwork on people we've had to ban or warn. And of course, I had to put some donuts back here because this whole place was designed like a police station. So, you know, cliches and bad jokes. You, you know me. And around the corner is our armory. So the security reps don't really go in there, they just come up to this window and check out what they need. But I can go in there and show you around at least for the tour. Now, this is a pretty basic armory, and, and I say that as if I've ever been in an armory before. According to the armories I've seen on Google Images, this is what I imagine a standard one would look like. Except for the band hammers. Those are the main attraction and are used the most out of this room. I mean, we don't really use guns or other weapons since we don't get intruders or raiders in here, but if we did, we're ready. Also got a few backup BII pit boys and vault security armor, and up here is where we do inventory and keep a log of everything that gets checked out. Now for the last part, I'm going to briefly walk through my administrator Commonwealth Charlie's office and living area. It's going to be a quick walkthrough and I'm not going to talk too much about it because he decorated all this, designed everything, and I know he's going to post a video on it soon, so I want you guys to hear about each section from him. I just don't know exactly what some areas are meant for. I mean, I have an idea, but I don't want to say the wrong thing. So I'm just going to show you guys what he did, and when he gets it posted, I will share a link to his video in the description of this one. 
But I do know that this is his own private elevator that leads up to the VIP lounge and a few other rooms that we have upstairs. Now he is not very thrilled about this elevator that leads up to his living area because originally he put in a staircase, but it was clipping into another part of the vault that was already built up, so the only solution we had was to put in an elevator. So I'm still trying to figure out the best way to get stairs in there, but so far nothing's really working out for me. I do love this room. This looks like his office where he films his YouTube videos. I just love the whole setup, you know, with the backdrop and the camera and the microphone on the desk. It was all just really well done. Same thing goes for the kitchen, you know, it's just a very clean and crisp setup, you know, it just all looks natural to me. As you can tell, Charlie has a completely different decoration style than me and a few other people who have helped out with the vault, and I think it all meshes well together. Like with his stuff, there isn't a lot of clutter, it's just very clean and tidy and organized. Which you know, really helps balance out the rest of the vault, like, uh, like my workshop and a few other areas that I just completely fill up every corner and every section of the room with junk. And I will say that this is, wait, where is it? Oh, here it is. So this is the coziest bathroom I have ever seen. I mean, look at it. It's all warm and inviting and uh, minus the window. The window's kind of weird to be right in front of a shower, but I love it. I always bitch about designing bathrooms, but this one is actually really nice. And the last part is his bedroom that leads out into a nice outdoor balcony whenever you need some fresh air or, you know, fresh cave air or something. I don't know. I thought it was a pretty cool idea of his to have a couple of areas in the vault where you can walk outside into the main cavern. But thanks for watching. I'd like to know what you think, so let me know in the comments on Twitter or hit me up on my Discord server called Vault VII. It's a pretty cool settlement building and modding community where we do challenges each month with a lot of great people. Also, I have set up a Patreon account that has a good bit of rewards such as Patreon access in the Discord, sneak peeks, and I'm currently doing a giveaway this month. So if you're interested in becoming a patron or joining the server, I'll have the links in the description.